everybody, welcome back to EA Sports. Gretzky, Messier, Fuhrer, Curry, Coffee. So much incredible history here in Edmonton. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Oilers take possession here on the opening drive. We are underway. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. The Oilers are on the attack. He's got a step. Big time stop on the break. Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. Pedersen's accurate when he's firing pucks that are flat on the ice. That's his snipe zone ability, and he likes to score from those type of shots. McDavid's wheel zone ability means he's so fast even when skating with the puck. I'm expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. Passes on over to Nurse. Gets it to the other point. Denies him. He got all of it. Hangs on to the puck. Quick feed to Hyman. And that's stopped by Genko. In this frame, still scoreless in this one. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Pedersen's lugging the puck. Here he is, takes the shot. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Taken by Dreisaitl. And now he passes up to Yamamoto. We got a whistle offside to call. The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Demko's gonna cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Dreisaitl's effective because he distributes the puck so cleanly, guys. His tape-to-tape -tape zone ability is what helps him set up his teammates for success. Slick feed. And he takes the pass. Grabbed along the board by Yamamoto. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. A Here he is in the open ice. On the road away. Oh, what a save. That gives a shot of adrenaline to his team. Turning aside the breakaway. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved on. Miller's picking up steam. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Passes it over to Garland. Uses the force on that hit. On the attack along the boards. Quick shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Skinner. He chops his puck perfectly to get himself into position for this save. This is not an easy one. Right from the middle of the ice. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Janmark's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Man advantage unit is set. Now, uh, you know, James, I like offense. I like goals. I even want to hear one of your goal calls. You haven't had a chance tonight. Takes the puck. Connection on the pass. Play whistle dead offside the call. Miller's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Vancouver's won the draw in the neutral zone. Pass to Miller. Vancouver's across the blue line. to the middle, connect with that shot. Slides it up to Nurse. And they're off to the races, it's a 2 on here. Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. And that pass doesn't go. Slides it diagonally to the cloud. Oh, what a stop. Both sides 
back to even strength. And nobody's going to be very happy about that one, James. No real chances generated. No momentum game. Just a couple of minutes roll off the clock. The Canucks have the puck in the corner. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Denied by Demko. Sends one up to Pedersen. Tries to the crease. Stops him cold. Lumps the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Ronick's got it along the way. Vancouver's got it from behind the net. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Hughes takes it inside his own end. Moves it to Yanmark. Ten with the traffic starting to close in. He had to grab that when he did. Here in the later stages of this period, we're still scoreless. Shores won the draw. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. There's a solid collision. Picked up along the boards by Ryan. Kravtsov's going to hear it from the crowd for the rest of the night. He caused that er earlier injury to the home team player, and they're not very happy with him. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Ekholm's been in some discomfort since he took this hit, a clean hit right through the body. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Canucks win the face-off. With possession along the wall. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Pass in front! the call big face off looming well fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end we've still got lots more still in store kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game and Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Ray Ferraro's between the benches. Razor, give me a sense of how you see things so far. Well, there's been no shortage of chances, James. I mean, it's one nothing, but the goalies have been the stars. I, I think if you get to a little bit of an offensive game. The Canucks will play from the defensive zone. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blows, stopping the play. It's hard to protect the lead. This isn't going to make it any easier now. A penalty taken? Oof. Penalty killers better be good. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. This is a pretty simplistic power play. They like to get the puck, 
shoot it, crash the net, get it back, and shoot it again. What a great time to have a man advantage. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Surprise, surprise, surprise. This fan base, uh, not exactly a fan of the call, right? No, you can hear their frustration. They've had it with the official, and the players are losing it, too. Vancouver's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. Hey, this is a pretty lengthy five on three here, James, and so I like a little bit of patience, but don't just pass the puck around the outside. It's got to get on the inside eventually. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. And he comes up with it. Feeds it down low. Kravtsov's got the puck from the back end. Denies that opportunity. They are really pouring on the pressure here. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Here's a short pass to Olenin. And he takes the feed. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Taken along the wall by Drys. Denies him! And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. And now it's grabbed by McDavid. And a good solid breakaway. Oh, he missed the net. Oh, you got to get it on the net. You got to catch the goalie. Cuts into the paint. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And he takes the feed. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, and that goes off target. I mean, he works into position to, to get this spot on the ice. It's a good scoring spot, but he misses the net. He's got to at least test the goalie. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We got a one nothing game to this point. The Canucks win possession here in the open ice. And that's just out of reach. Puck grab by Myers. Gains the zone along the right wall. Sends the pass in front. Picked off in front. And a little body contact on that play. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. The Canucks have it now. Vancouver's got it. Here's a pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Good hit on the play. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. On man rush. Dishes it to Brisebois. Poked away at center by Nugent Hopkins. And here's the pass to Yamamoto. Dreisaitl's got it in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Brisebois. Fails to find the open man. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Takes it to center. All alone! Goodbye! I don't know what more could be done here. That's a good shot, but the goalie makes a great stop. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Well past the midway mark of this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. The Oilers win it. Moves it quickly over to CeCe. Receives the pass. The Canucks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Sorry to cut in, James, but that was a hit that cannot be ignored. And he slides it quickly to Nurse. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Good stand-up hit on the play. Offside the call. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, he got bombed. Man, did he ever. And to make matters worse, he's got a stick knocked out of his hands. Now he's got to go chase the twig down. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Pushes it across to Olenin. There's a collision with some authority. 
Delayed penalty looming. Whistle stops the play. You worked so hard to get back in the game. Now you have a stall. A penalty will really hamper your momentum. power play if this power play group can do the job the number one rated unit has a chance to stretch this lead scrum along the wall Edmonton's gonna play it from the corner the Oilers gain possession along the wall Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end there's a save by Demko quick pass across to Nurse and that's blocked from someone in front shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. Fires it! That goes off the blocker! What a save by Skinner! Here in the late goings of the period, 1-0 the score. Edmonton got it in the defensive zone. Moves it to Bouchard and tries to make a diagonal pass to McDavid. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Played big in the moment there. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. It goes off a stick. Let's it go! And they score! With the delayed penalty, everybody falls back on their heels a bit. They don't defend well, and it's in their net. Oh, it just trickles over the goal line. The goaltender stopped most of it, just not all of it. Vancouver's equalizer comes at a critical time of the game, late in the period, isn't it, Ray? Anytime you give up a goal late in the period, you feel like you've given up more than that. So this is a critical goal. Well, this has been a fun one here tonight. Great energy here in the building as well. We'll get a fresh sheet of ice and come back with period number three in moments. The officials are set. The players are set. Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Sabolski. Let's go. This one's still deadlocked as we are now underway here in the third. Quick pass to Kane. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Oh, turns it aside once again. Great positioning. Once he makes that first save, he's got to be in position to make the sack. He's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a centering pass. And that goes off the body and arrives. Puck picked up by Bervillier. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. And he makes the save. Here's a short pass to McDavid. And now it's over to Hyman. Puck scooped up by Peterson. Oh boy. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Moves the puck across to McDavid. Moves it to the middle. And he elects not to shoot and will hang on to the puck. Taken by Ronick. Pass broken up. Decides to go to the backhand. And he turns that one aside. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Denies him on the slapper. Puts it in for the go-ahead goal. Control the game now. You finally got the lead. You've worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. Oh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. Vancouver's gone up by one in this third period. Do you attack? Do you sit back? Well, for me, it's always to attack. At least don't be conservative yet. Too much time left. It's an odd man rush. Two on one. He to the middle. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. It scores! The flow with a beautiful Brock Besser.
mess on this goal. You gotta be strong to get into the position to get to the one-timer that close to the net. And then the finesse to put it away. Bang, bang, it's in the net. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Canucks have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Puck grab by Bouchard. Look at this thing, cuts the bodies here on the attack. And he takes the dish. Quick feed to Besser. And not much on that one. Obviously not a more dangerous place on the ice to shoot the puck from dead center. Shooter tries to go under the bar, and the goalie is better with the glove. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Sends the pass over. Rocks him. And look at this. We've got a 2 up one. Whoa. With dynamite on that stick. Wow. That's the play you practice half the time. It's that down low quick action play where you get into position, you hope a pass is like that, and you hammer it in from in tight. Vancouver's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro school of hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after goal. And when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. Cutting in for that puck along the wall. Manages to hang on. Oh, what a stop by Skinner! The Canucks ready to go on the attack. Lowers the boom with that hit. Solid hit on the play. And that pass can't connect. And now it's grabbed by Janmark. Moves it quickly over to Fogel. Stop that one. Oh, and another beauty stop right there. Demko's had a solid night here. Save percentage is really good while they built a comfortable lead. Scooped up along the wall by Pedersen. Handles the pass. From the open eye. Look out. Here's a 2 on 0 Denies him. No, he's going to be disappointed with that effort, James. The goalie beats him cold. Babe's mind. She's standing by with the answer. McDavid's been stronger in this matchup when you look at the box score, guys. I like how involved he's been and how he's used his zone ability to make an impact. The Canucks will play it in their own end. He got all of that one. The Oilers take possession in the neutral zone. And called for the offside. We'll get a face-off. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Vancouver's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Puck picked up by Ronick. Nice speed from the goaltender. Can't make it work. Now over to Pedersen. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Nice feed. They go on the attack through center. Rocked him in the open ice. Yamamoto's swooping in on the open. Whoa, Gabe. I don't know what that sounded like up there, but from here, that sounded like a car crash. Redirected shot. Demko's got it. And he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there. And like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. In the final moments of this period, the Canucks are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4-1. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. Besser's got it in the offensive end. And he'll take Cuts up with the stop. Slides it up front. Here they come. He's 
got a step. There's a chance to the middle. Vancouver's looking to break out. Edmonton's got the puck. The Canucks have it against the wall. Moves it to Besser. Picked up along the wall by Studnichka. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. The Canucks have been handed two for interference. away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Scores! And they convert with the man advantage. That power play is so dangerous. The puck starts zipping around. It ends up in one of a couple different options. They don't miss very often. You want money? You go to the bank. You want bread? You go to the store. You want goals? You get into the net. The rebound's there. He puts it away. Edmonton's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. Seems to have come alive a little bit. The Canucks win the draw here in the neutral zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Bovillier's got it in the defensive end. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. They're gonna go here. This isn't about winning the game anymore. This is about settling a score. And down he goes. That's a clear winner right there. Boys, that's enough. Over to the penalty box and go sit down. Well, it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice, and we're back to getting some hockey going again. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Cuts to the paint. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Break away. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick. Pass to Garland, and that's broken up. A centering feed, and that's turned aside by Skinner. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. The Canucks win this one, and a night it seemed as though the puck was on a string for them. They had it the whole time, and really looked like they were going to dominate the game because they had the puck so often. However, it was tight. And they did a good job to hang on. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.